You know those stories where the moment you start them, you know you're about to be into some wild shit? Like Attack on Titan, episode one, main character's mom gets eaten by a human kaiju. That's crazy. Freaking Chainsaw Man. Find out that Denji's a homeless kid who hunts devils with a dog with a chainsaw coming out of it. That's also crazy. But people, this, this manga, I can't say it's the wildest entry I've ever gotten into a story, but it's definitely at least top five, bro. This, this story, it's so wild. I don't even feel right going on my little spiel trying to tell you, oh, blah, 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 giving you, no, no, no. You need to go into this experience completely blind. So people, without further ado, I am the Black Master Dochi, and this is the Don Da Don experience. But before we get into it, of course, y'all, huge spoilers ahead. Listen, I got into this blind. All I knew was that there were aliens. That's it. That's, that's all I knew about this story before I started it. And chapter one hit kind of crazy. I don't want to take that away from anybody. So listen, if you got to read chapter one before you watch this video, go do that and come back. I'll understand. It's okay. I, I, I can handle it. But if you don't care... <sighs> Let me tell you about this shit right here, bro. So the story begins with one of our protagonists, Momo Ayase. And from page one, straight disrespect, bro. The story begins with her boyfriend calling off their date because she doesn't want to loan him money. And he's like, oh, oh, here, compromise. If you want, you know, we could, we, you, you can, you can put out, you know, we could smash and we could still go on our date. But like, unless you either lending me money or smashing, we ain't doing shit. Huh? Imagine me not knowing anything about this story, seeing that on the first page. And I'm not, it's the first page, bro. First page. So she goes back to school after homie breaks her heart low key. And she's all sad because she's like, damn, all I want is a man like Ken Takakura, who I, I don't know if this is like an anime reference or a manga reference or something else, but she wants that, uh, that awkward kind of stoic dude who will do anything to protect their woman and all that good stuff. That's the kind of guy that she wants from what I can tell. But remember that name because it becomes mad important at the end of this video and at the end of this chapter. Remember, Ken Takakura. You'll thank me later. Anyway, enter our next protagonist, who we're not we're not given his name yet. But homie, poor glasses kun is getting bullied by, you know, your local Japanese school bullies. It's like a regular thing in manga. But homegirl Ayase pulls up and low-key saves his ass. She asks what he's reading and he he gets all nervous. He's like, eh, yeah, eh, woman. So she just walks away like, ah nah, lame. But after she leaves, this man follows her out and is like, Ayase, I know what you're into, which is mad sus. So then homie pulls up an article, I guess, of Obama trying to go to space basically talking about the whole everybody's race to get to space and stuff and how people are making space how countries sorry are making space forces to defend against the possibility of aliens homie's just going off talking about how much he loves space how aliens are real how ufos and what what you you uaps i think is what he was saying how all that stuff is real and how it's crazy and to be honest because ayase just went through a breakup she's not trying to hear it so he's still going and then finally she wiles on him saying yo quit with the nerd shit this is why nobody likes you this is why you don't have friends which respectfully i i, I get i get you're annoyed with my boy over here but kind of wiling and she realizes that so she apologizes but then she's like, straight up, I don't believe in aliens. I do, however, believe in spirits. And homeboy's like, spirits ain't real, bro. What you talking about? So they get into a whole fight about whether aliens and UFOs or spirits are, are, are real and whatever. And meanwhile, Ayase's friends see this all happening and they're like, okay, I guess she's into nerds now. But basically this fight leads to them being like, all right, we're gonna do a challenge. Ayase's like, I'm gonna show you some spirits. If I could prove to you that spirits are real, you're gonna be my servant. And homeboy basically does the same thing, but he says it for UFOs and alien stuff. So to prove their points, they do quite possibly the dumbest shit they could have ever done. Glasses couldn't tell Ayase to go to an abandoned hospital that is known to be the holy land of UFOs. And she goes by herself. So, okay, cool. Probably gonna die, but whatever. Meanwhile, Glasses Kun gets told to go to an abandoned tunnel that is known to be a home for spirits. So they're both possibly going to die, but it's cool. You know, we, we know they're not gonna die yet because manga, but still crazy. 
At the very least, they're on the phone with each other, so I guess that kind of helps, but still, I, I would never do this. I I'm not going to a place known to house UFOs for funsies by myself. Well, I'm not stupid, and on the same end, I'm not going to a tunnel that's known to house spirits. I don't care if it's just on the net. Speaking of the net, because they start talking about how they heard about this on the internet, they both realize, oh, they've never seen either of the things that they're, that they're trying to prove are real. So Glasses Kun has never actually seen a UFO or any proof that aliens exist. He's only going off YouTube shit, probably. Meanwhile, Homegirl, well, actually, she, no, no, she actually does have a reason. She talks about how her grandma was a spirit, is a spirit medium, right? And back when she was a kid, her grandma would tell her to do this ritual to like you know give her good luck keep her safe but of course mean ass kids made fun of her because she was doing this ritual and even the boy she liked made fun of her and made fun of her grandma so she was like grandma i hate you you made boys not like me when so she got mad and she was like i don't like spirits but then she realized oh wait my grandma's type lit though like she takes care of me she believes in me and shit that's crazy so then she realized damn that's wild to me. I feel like I wasn't really mad at my grandma. I was mad at the dude for making fun of my grandma because my grandma is dope as fuck. So then she was like, I believe in spirits because I believe in my grandma pretty much. And that was a nice little spiel, like a little go into her life. I thought that was nice. I thought it was a nice little wholesome moment. But she asked homeboy why he likes UFOs and aliens and stuff and why he wants them to be real. And he doesn't give us an actual response so homie has no leg to stand on right now like he becomes more likable later but right now he just sounds like an idiot who heard about ufos online wants to believe they're true but still has no proof and has no reasons to actually like them but we'll get into his reasoning soon don't worry anyway from all this glasses couldn't realize that he actually likes talking to ayase like this thing is kind of dope but i promised you in the beginning of the video wild shit so <laughs> Oh, this is on Shonen Jump. This is on Shonen Jump. That's crazy. Is this on Shonen Jump? This is on Shonen Jump. This is on Shonen Jump, bro. That's so crazy. Okay, okay. So Glasses Kun is walking through the tunnel, right? Some random ass old lady. She looks so crazy. You know she's a spirit, bro. Some random ass old lady spirit pulls up and she says, and I quote, I'll let you suckle my teats. If you let me gobble your schlong, I'll let you suckle my teats. If you let me gobble your schlong. Someone wrote that and someone else translated that, typed that in a speech bubble and said, yup, that's a fucking line, bro. Son, I really looked at this manga three times to make sure I didn't get it from like, I was like, nah, bro. You ain't gonna tell me the first main villain is actually the Schlong Gobbler. This is why I'm so happy I started this blind, bro. This is why I'm so happy I didn't know anything about this story because nothing would prepare me for this page turn right here. You probably can't see it. Oh no, you can kind of see it because of, with the lighting still, but like, bro, the first panel makes you think this is about to be a horror, but then what she says afterwards is like, wait. <laughs> like, I want to say it's straight comedy, but I it's, I feel like that does it a disservice. It's not just comedy. There is horror involved in here, but it's used in a completely unique way, and I love it. I'm so here for it, bro. I saw this, and I when I tell you, I'm like, I'm so in. I'm so... I. It sounds like I'm complaining right now, but trust me, trust me, this type of dumb shit is what I live for. <laughs> So since he's on the phone with Ayase, right, he starts dipping, bro, hops on his bike and leaves. And then she's like, yo, 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 you got to keep running, bro. That's apparently her name is Turbo Granny. Yeah. And her, her big thing is that she's OD fast. And if you lose to her in a race, this is what Ayase says, by the way, if you lose to her in a race, she will curse you. That's how you die to this to this ghost, bro. If you ain't got the speed. If you ain't fast as fuck, boy, you getting cursed. So because Glasses couldn't got into some shit, you know that now Ayase needs to get into some shit too. So she's still walking through this abandoned hospital. Once again, terrible idea. And she runs into a bunch of creepy looking dudes in shirts and ties. Shirts and ties? Nope, just, just, just button down shirts. Weird. So they attack her, trap her on their little chip device thingy. And what follows? Y'all thought the suckling teats and goblin shong shlong part was wild? Bro, what follows after this? I really hope this video does not get demonetized. <laughs> they tell her that they're Serpoians, I think is how you say it. 
or whatever because they're from the planet Serpo. They tell her that because their their whole species is only male, they clone, you know, to stay alive, to keep their species living. And because of that, they haven't evolved. They don't really have feelings. So to regain what they've lost, they require, and I quote, Ayase species, banana organs. And I don't think I gotta explain what they mean by banana organs. So then he pulls out his banana organ, which is, let's just say a cyber dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. We're not showing that there. No, <laughs> too much is already being said. We're good. We're not, we're not killing the chances of that, getting that green sign on there. But, um, yeah, cyber dragon appears and they're like, hey man, I told you we gotta reproduce, bro. So what you think almost happens, but then her phone rings, which disturbs everybody. And then Turbo Granny pulls up from the phone, guessing she she cursed glasses kun. And people, <laughs> people, she starts gobbling schlongs, bro. <laughs> oh god and i'm not even joking she said what she's trying to do and she fucking does it bro it's wild oh by the way this just reminded me um ayase calls uh glasses kun occult kun so we should probably just start calling him that now so occult kun cursed by turbo granny is now going off you know goblin schlongs but it looks like a cult kun is also fighting back the curse. So he's able to talk to Ayase while fighting these guys. And then the aliens take off their disguise. And bro, it's like, it's like the cherry on top, bro. It's like, these guys look so unserious, but the, the situation is so serious. So it's like, my mind was like a bleh the whole time. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it was a good bleh, but it, it, it was bleh, bleh nonetheless. But at the same time, Bro, homie's ducking and dodging, right? You know, you taking advantage of the of Turbo Granny's power, her crazy ass speed. And homeboy, the aliens like, give us your banana organs. <laughs> Imagine you about to square up with somebody and their battle, their first choice of words is, give me your banana organs, bro. What? Yo, Yuki Nobu Tatsu, you are a genius. You, you have made gold with this, my friend. Ooh, this is good. This is good. <laughs> so after a valiant effort, the Serpoians or the, the guys who try to take the banana organs are finally get a cult kun down. They finally not they finally um have him in a standstill, right? And as they're as they're holding him down, they're like, oh, you know, we're good people. We've made we we've, we've been kind to humans. Humans like us. Like like why do you why are you so aggressive towards us? Just give us your banana organs, the fuck? <laughs> like, so <clears throat> While this is going on, you know, since we're in dire, we're in a dire situation, we now need backstory from a cult kun because that's plot. That's what we need to get out of this. So a cult kun is like, I don't care. You can take it. I, all I wanted was for aliens to exist because humans bullied me. Aliens ignored me. I just thought maybe if I found aliens, they would be my friends. But Miss Ayase was the first person who ever paid me any mind. So y'all can take it if you want. I will do anything for my new friend Ayase, which is mad wholesome. Just don't tell them that it's okay to take your banana organs. That's never okay. <laughs> but after that whole victory speech, these aliens dead said, fuck your plot, blasted him back. And then homeboy occult kun was like, ah, oh, actually you hold up. I, I, I don't know if I could do this anymore, bro. That really hurt. So it's looking really bad right now, bro. The aliens are really about to do the worst. But then suddenly Ayase has this whole flashback. You know, she remembers her grandma talking about controlling her chi and using it as, I don't know, I guess a defense mechanism against bad spirits. So she, she thinks about that, right? She has her own little flashback and that gives her the strength to go Super Saiyan. She doesn't go Super Saiyan, I'm kidding. But she does get a transformation type shit. You know, her hair changes, changes color, gets longer, and it, it starts flowing and shit. So, you know, crazy. But she also gets psychokinetic powers. So she blasts the alien back, destroys him. But then she forgot there is still a cult kun being controlled by the spirit. Like though he was fighting the other aliens, he was just out there trying to gobble some schlong. That like that's that's all the grandma was trying they're trying to do. So now that all the schlong has been gobbled, <laughs> 
grandma's like, okay, time to eat Ayase. But then she finds a way to use her new powers to hold the spirit back. But while holding the spirit back, she actually converses with it. The spirit's like, Turbo Granny's like, it's too late. I have his schlong. If you want his schlong back, <laughs> you have to come to me. Oh man, this is a manga that I happily paid money for. <laughs> I, I do it again. <laughs> but they find out that, you know, they now have their bigger threat now. The, the first main villain, it looks like, is Turbo Granny. If they don't fight Turbo Granny, not only will Homie continue to be possessed, he will also never get his long back. So anyway, after all that, you know, after they finally get out the ship, they're safe on like planet Earth. They're both like, damn, I guess we both kind of lost a challenge because Occult Kun's like, I definitely believe in spirits now. And Ayase's like, I, oh, we fought aliens, bro. There is no question that aliens exist. So they're like, what do we do now? And Occult Kun's like, I don't want you getting involved in this. This was my fault. We shouldn't have made that bet. I'm gonna go handle, I'm gonna build up the courage to go handle Turbo Granny and I'll find a way. And Ayase's like, bro, don't be stupid. We in this together. And then this leads to her finally being like, wait a minute, this whole day, this whole time, I did not know your, I, didn't, I did not find out your name. So what? what's your name? And people, this boy's name is Ken Takakora. This is a love story, bro. This is a love story. <laughs> and if you want to find out what happens next, you're going to have to read the manga for yourself. Final thoughts, honestly, very simple. Read the manga straight up. <laughs> like, I That's the reason why I only cover chapter one. I just feel like there is too much here that is ruined if you do not experience it blind. I've already said too much. There's two, two, I, I should have stopped right after Schlongobbler, but I kept going. Too much has been said. If you want more, get the, get the volume, read it on Vizme, do, read it, find it and read it. But that is it for this video, fam. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, if you enjoyed, if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see me cover more manga and, uh, stories in this way, I'm sorry. This <laughs> This story has me so messed up in like the best of ways like it's it's great, but it's wild, but it's great Subscribe if you want to see more of me hit that bell to stay notified whenever I upload new content I also do live streams every now and again manhwa reactions uh, Video game lore. There's a bunch of stuff on this channel. You'll, you'll find something. I promise huge shout out to the guildmates Appreciate you guys for the monthly support if you guys do not know on the guild Which is now connected to my website you gain access to a bunch of cool stuff um, like the live streams uh, What else the uh, un Uncensored manhwa reactions uh, my soul leveling re reaction that I'm doing in preparation for the soul leveling experience Which is coming sometime this month promise you but check it out there are a bunch of other dope perks and you can access to them for as little as three dollars a month but with that fam i am off this so be easy stay lit stay healthy out there you look good and don't forget to smile today peace out fam <laughs>